Namaste. Welcome to the next video of Machine Learning Techniques course. In this video, we will discuss about soft margin SVMs. There is a situation where the classes are largely linearly separable, but there are a few misclassifications or a few points lie within the margin. In such case, we are unable to find a perfect hyperplane that maximizes the margin. So we would like to make some adjustments to the loss function so as to learn a hyperplane with tolerance to a small number of misclassified examples. This is a situation depicted pictorially. So we have a separating hyperplane, we have bounding hyperplanes and we have support vectors. And there are a few misclassified points. This point for example lie within the margin. Whereas this point is misclassified. So the red point is classified as a blue point. So this is a misclassified point. So in such situation, it is difficult for SVM to find out the maximum margin classifier. Hence what we do is we add some kind of slack variables which are chi i for every point. So there is a slack variable chi i for each training point and it has got the following constraint. So y i into w transpose x i plus b greater than or equal to 1 was our constraint on correctly classified points. Now what we do is we modify that constraint by subtracting chi i from 1 on the right hand side such that chi i is greater than 0. So this constraint is now less strict because each training point need only be at distance 1 minus chi i from the separating hyperplane instead of a hard margin distance of 1. So this is a situation where chi i is equal to 0 for correctly classified points and for incorrectly classified point chi i is, is not 0. In order to prevent slack variable from becoming too large, we penalize it in the objective function. So we add c times sum over all entering examples of chi i as a constraint to the original SVM objective. And then we add the constraints that is y i into w transpose x i plus b is greater than or equal to 1 minus chi i and each chi i is greater than or equal to 0. So the slack variables allows input to be closer to the hyperplane or even be on the wrong side. When c is large, SVM becomes strict and tries to get all points to the correct side of the hyperplane. And when c is small, SVM slacks and allows many misclassifications or points can lie within the margin. Let's derive an unconstrained formulation. So we had an objective function which is minimize half of norm square plus c times sum over chi i of all entering examples. For c not equal to 0, our objective is to minimize chi i and we want to minimize this as much as possible and this is only possible with the equality constraint which is y i into w transpose x i plus b is equal to 1 minus chi i. So now by performing some simple algebraic manipulation you will see that chi i the value of chi i is equal to 1 minus y i into w transpose x i plus b whenever whenever y i into w transpose x i plus b is less than 1. So this is clearly the misclassified point. For each misclassified point, we set the value of chi i to 1 minus y i into w transpose x i plus b. And for all correctly classified points, the value of chi i is equal to 0. So we can add a non-zero slack for misclassified points or points inside the margin. And this is equivalent to saying that chi i is max of the non-zero slack and zero. 
So it is max of the first term and the second term in, in these two cases. Let's plug this in soft margin SVM objective function. So we get minimize half of norm square plus c times sum over 1 to n the value of xi i which is max of 1 minus y i into w transpose x i plus b comma 0. The second term is called hinge loss and it looks something like this. So x axis here is y i into the dot product between w and x i plus b and the y axis is the misclassification cost. So you can see that whenever the value of t is greater than or equal to 1, we have misclassification cost of 0 and whenever it is less than 1, we have a linearly increasing misclassification cost. So we need to minimize the soft margin loss to find the max margin classifier. So we take partial derivative of the loss with respect to w and with respect to b. Now the partial derivative of the second term depends on the misclassification penalty and the misclassification penalty is, is either 0 or 1 minus yi w transpose xi plus b. So whenever the, whenever the misclassification penalty is 0 or whenever the point is correctly classified, the, the partial derivative of the second term is 0, otherwise it is yi into xi. And same thing happens when we compute partial derivative with respect to b. It is 0 for correctly classified points, otherwise it is yi. So we can write this compactly as the partial derivative of the loss function with respect to w is w plus c times sum over all entering examples whenever we have this particular condition true the and the condition is basically 1 minus yi into w transpose xi plus b is greater than 0 we have yi into xi and we add the same condition in the in the second partial derivative and we get c into sum over all entering example the condition into yi and you can see the importance of this condition whenever this condition is true we get the the derivative otherwise the partial derivative is 0 if this condition is false this will return 0 and the partial derivative for for that point is kind of 0 let's derive a gradient descent update rule now that we know the partial derivative so w nu is calculated as w old minus learning rate times the partial derivative of the loss with respect to w which is what we wrote in the previous slide and same thing for b the new value of b is basically equal to the new old value of b minus learning rate times the partial derivative of the loss function with respect to b so for classification problem we use usual evaluation methods like precision recall f1 score and accuracy in this video we studied how to set up the soft margin classifier. We studied its objective function, its partial derivative and the update rule for gradient descent. 